holidays like Jack's Party Mix. The holiday snack that everybody loves to share. The following program is Ray TVY. The SME Media Group recommends viewing for children to the six. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Swap my ice cream for a friendly dog, my yo-yo for a bright green frog. I swap my sister for a new transistor, but I'll never swap my switcher. I swap my broom for a hockey stick, my cookie for a magic trick. I swap my cat for a ten-gallon hat, but I'll never swap my switcher. Switch, red licorice candy, chewy, long-lasting, delicious. One bite and you'll discover why you'll never swap your switcher. Bite into a Starburst and hold on to your taste buds. Starburst. It's the wildest orange. Orange. Strawberry. Strawberry. Lemon. Lemon. And wildest cherry taste. Starburst. It's a burst of refreshing fruit flavor. Naturally and artificially flavored. Now back to Muppet Baby. <laughs> to draw on the TV screen was a great idea. I'm glad you like it, Kermit. Are you lonely? Huh? 
Looking for that perfect friend? Then you should try Hal's Computer Friend Finder. Just send in $10 and tell us about the pal you'd like to have. And we'll find you the perfect friend. Hey, what a great idea. Yeah, I bet we could find a whole bunch of perfect new friends, huh, Nanny? Well, I don't know, Fozzie. Whoa, great idea. Let's do it. Let's go! Yeah! Listen, kids, maybe you could... Uh... How much money do you have, Spooler? Sixteen cents! I ain't got a nickel! I got ten! Dollars? Dollars? No! Ten please! How much is that worth? Um, not enough, Gonzo. Oh. I've got an idea, kid. You're gonna give us the ten dollars? No! You don't need the ten dollars, Piggy. We no. don't? You can use Scooter's computer. Yeah, that's right. His computer can tell us who our perfect friends are. Just like on TV. That's right, Kermit. Try it out. I'll be back in a while, and you can introduce me to your new pal. All right. Who's going to go first? I am. What? I mean, I am going to let my sweet little piggy go first. <laughs> Thank you, Gonzo. Okay, just give me the facts on your perfect pal, and I'll program him into my computer. Let's see. My perfect pal would be short, green, and handsome. Oh. I can almost see him now. His name would be Kermit Marlowe. Uh, uh, hi there, Piggy. What are you doing in those silly-looking clothes? They're not silly. They're grown up. Can't you tell? Um, yeah, sure. He was everything a girl could want in a frog. Fearless eyes. Powerful eyes. No! Strong. Real. A girl could want in a frog. Well, almost everything. Let me give you a hand. Oh, um, well, thanks. Oh, uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? Um, well, I'm looking for excitement and romance. Relax. Your search is over. I know. Huh? Yep. I found him this morning. Excitement and romance. You did say you were looking for him, didn't you? Ooh, get out of my imagination! Okay, okay, sorry. Not you, the dogs! <laughs> um, Kermit, you are the excitement and romance that I'm looking for. Who? I am? And so, after imagining a dream song, Two bucks for gas ought to cover it. Oh, I'm second thought. Uh, let's just call it even. Keep the money.
dog. Who wants to go next? I will. My perfect friend would be a very funny comedian, like me. Look, Fozzie. Gee. Hey, you're Charlie Chaplin, aren't you? You're one of my all-time favorite comedians. Wanna be my friend? I love the way he walks. Whoa! <laughs> Charlie. You got anything to eat? Oh, I get it. Filet of salt. What a great joke, Charlie. <laughs> oh, I know just how it feels, Charlie. Whenever I tell a bad joke, I get hit with tomatoes. Sorry, I didn't mean your joke was bad, but maybe I could lend you some of my jokes. Uh, how about this one? What do you call a guy with a chicken on his head? Uh, a, a feather brain. Oh, I guess you heard that one. Wait a minute. I got a joke I know you'll just love. What did the seven dwarfs say when someone asked them what color snow was? Give up? They said, isn't snow white? Get it? <laughs> seven dwarfs? Snow white? Waka waka waka! Whoa! Ouch! There's nothing worse than frozen tomatoes! What the what the hey! I don't know if this perfect friend business is such a good idea. Whoa! Animal! Neutron! Neutron! Animal, cut that out! Best friend, no! You break the computer! Best friend, Ronald! Slime! Crazy! Rice Krispies. 
And now, back to Muppet Baby. <laughs> Try to keep the noise down, okay? You almost got us in big trouble, animal. Sorry. I don't know about you guys, but I know exactly what makes a perfect friend. The perfect friend must be very intelligent, mathematical in thinking, and have tons of information at his fingertips. What happened? The screen went blank. I don't understand it. I entered all the right stuff. Hey, who are you? I'm Pal, your perfect friend. You programmed me yourself. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. I can play any game, answer any question. Why, I can do just about anything. I'm perfect. Listen, Pal, how about a game of tic-tac-toe? My pleasure, friend. You go first. Uh, okay. Ah! Hey! You lose. But I didn't even play. Yes, but knowing you as I do, I predicted every one of your moves and placed my O's accordingly. You lose. That's no fun. Hmm, I know. Let's put together a jigsaw puzzle. <sighs> It's always best to put the borders together first. Don't bother. I've already solved the puzzle. What? Watch. Aw, uh, that's no fair. I didn't even get a chance to find one piece. Why don't we forget about games and go to a party? Gosh, I didn't know computers like parties. Sure. Come on, friend. Okay, pal. Huh? Great party, eh, friend? Yay, what a party! How about a bite to eat? I'll have a bit. Computer pals, phooey. Well, I don't need a stupid computer to find my perfect friend. I can use my imagination. My perfect friend would be very athletic, tall, muscular. <laughs> Wow, a person could really get in shape here. Yeah, I could build muscles on my nose. Well, let's see. There he is, my perfect friend. Say, aren't you Arnold Schwarzenhopper? Yeah, I mean, sheep and herder, uh, shirts and snipper? Yeah, that's right. Are you ready for your workout? Sure we are! Let's go! Yeah! First, we'll do some chin-ups. Mm. Mm. I can't mm. reach! Mm. Don't worry, mm. I'll fix it. Mm. Up, down, up, okay. down. Okay, here you go! Up. Mm. 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 
Okay, now it's barbell time. <sighs> but we haven't even finished chin up yet. <laughs> Boy, I'm finished. Yeah, me too. All right, pick up those bars and start pumping. One, two, one, two, one, hey, two. That was one, easy enough. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two. Hey, Rolf, I bet you can't lift the dumbbell. Sure I can. Watch. Hey, what are you doing? Lifting a dumbbell, silly. Oh, I knew. Whoa! That. Ready, guys? Yeah. Uh, no! Some friend he turned out to be, Skeeter. Some muscle men are just too interested in themselves to have fun. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know about you guys, but my perfect friend would be pink and sweet and... Huh? Oh, no, you don't! I'm not having anything to do with your crazy imagination, Gonzo. She'd have your blue eyes and blonde hair. Ha! A blank mind. The perfect canvas to create my perfect pig. Gonzo? Gee, I'm sorry, guys. I guess I don't know what makes a perfect pal. I guess we'll never know what makes a good friend. Wait a minute. That's it. What's, What's it? it? Good friends are like good songs. They're all different, but always in harmony. You're a blue weirdo with the funny nose. And you've got fur from your head to your toes. We like it that way. Nobody's perfect. I wake up green every single day. <laughs> well, I am kind of unique. Nobody's perfect. If you were just like me. Okay, 
Friends, Piggy. You're right, Kermy. Oh. 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 I don't believe it. Piggy hugged me. Gosh, maybe you and I are perfect friends, Skeeter. Of course we are, Scooter. We're twins. Uh. Gee, Ralph, between your music and my jokes, we've got a lot in common. Yeah. And fleas, too. Huh? Oh. Hard. Yes. Friend. Thank you, animal. Well, Kit, it looks like you found your perfect friends after all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were right under our noses all along, Nanny. She thinks, Gonzo. And now, these messages. Just when the breakfast eaters thought they were safe. <laughs> Let me finish your breakfast. Soggy's return. This is a job for crunch power. Crunch away! Meanwhile... Come on, spring into action! There's breakfast to be fine. So good. Surely breakfast is doomed, unless... Dry up, you soggies! Captain Crunch! Yes, yes, with his Captain Crunch cereal and crunch power that locks delicious sweet taste in, so it's tough to sog out. This is right up your alley. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> we bowled them over. Captain Crunch is a crunchy part of a balanced breakfast. Crunch power! I'll finish it yet! Skittles, bites, and candies. Oh, so smooth! Splurging! Sappy life! Sassy? Save it! Super hard! Sneaky! Spunky life! Yeah! Colorful candy shells! Fruit flavors in the middle! Single-handed bite-sized candy-coated Skittles! And now, back to Muppet Baby. Eyes go big and blue. 
sit while mommy ties your shoe? Can you stand up too? Big girl standing by yourself. You are the one for me. You're my child. The my Child dolls come in different designer outfits and a real Pampers diaper. New from Mattel. Apple Jacks made with real apples. An apple sweet part of this complete breakfast. Fun to eat and apple sweet. Kellogg's Apple Jacks. They only come out at night. Shine on the on neon. Shine on in the dark. Neon neon. One free in Apple Jacks. Neon neon.